Joining us now is Senator Amy Klobuchar, a member of the Judiciary Committee. Senator Klobuchar, great to see you this morning. Let, let's start right there. Do you believe... Thanks, Martha. Do, do you believe there should be a litmus test? The Democrats have several candidates who do not support abortion rights. Well, first of all, you have people who are personally, personally pro-life, but yet believe that that decision um, should be a woman's personal choice, even if they may not agree with them. Um, so I think it's important to note that we have people in our party that vote to uphold Roe v. Wade that may have personal opinions that are different. Uh, that is a really important distinction, Martha. Um, and also, I think what you see in our party is a party that is clearly pro-choice, that believes that a woman should have a right to make her own reproductive health decisions when it comes to abortion. That is the position of our party, and I think you see in primary after primary, that matters to our voters, certainly now more than ever. And, and Senate Democrats plan to hold a vote this week to codify abortion rights, but it's most certainly going to be blocked, not go through. So if the court does overturn Roe, which seems an almost certainty, what options do abortion rights advocates have at this point and Democrats? Well, let's be clear about what's going on here. Um, with this leaked opinion, the court is looking at reversing 50 years of women's rights, and the fall will be swift. Um, over 20 states have laws in place already, Martha. And I think the question that voters are going to be asking when 75 percent of people are with us on this is who should make this decision? Should it be a woman and her doctor or a politician? Should it be Ted Cruz making this decision or a woman and her family? Where are women's equals rights? So my answer to you is, if we are not successful in passing this in the Senate, we will do everything uh, to do so. And I'll note it's already passed in the House, where not one Republican voted for it to codify Roe v. Wade. If we are not successful, then we go to the ballot box. We march straight to the ballot box. And the women of this country and the men who stand with them will vote like they've never voted before, because this is 50 years of rights in a leaked opinion where Justice Alito is literally not just taking us back uh, to the 1950s. He's taking us back to the 1850s. He actually cites the fact uh, that abortion was criminalized back when the 14th Amendment uh, was adopted. Senator, um, should so this, this be the really principal issue? really extreme thought. Should this be the principal issue for Democrats at the ballot, bo at the ballot box, abortion rights? It will not be the only issue, Martha. I think you know that people right now are focused on the economy. Uh, they've seen the leadership of the president when it comes to Ukraine and the importance of preserving our democracy. They've seen the extremity of what we're seeing across the country, extreme Republicans who literally um, have been supporting uh, Donald Trump's assault on our democracy and refuse to admit uh, that Joe Biden actually won the election. All of this is going to be on the ballot. Uh, but clearly, when you look at especially a new generation of women are looking at this and saying, wait a minute, my mom and my grandma are going to have more rights than I'm going to have going forward. I'm going to have to look at a patchwork of state laws with 15 of them already looking to ban medication abortion, which is what people do online and things like that. They're going to look at this and say, what world do I live in? Um, and so as you look at these attempts to limit people's rights, limit people's voting rights, that's just not where America is, Martha. So, of course, but, but, it's but on be that point, a major issue going into the fall. Uh, on, that, on that point, Senator, public polls show a majority of Americans support the right to an abortion in most cases. But in the states that would almost immediately ban abortion, if Roe is overturned, a majority of adults believe abortion should be illegal in most or all cases, according to a New York Times analysis. So wouldn't these laws simply reflect the majority of the people in those states? I am someone that believes, and I think when your viewers think of this, um, and they talk to their daughters, and they talk to their sisters and mothers, I say this, why should a woman in Texas have different rights and a different future and a different ability to make decisions about her body and her reproductive choices than a woman in Minnesota. How can that be in this country that we'd have a patchwork of laws? And it 
one of the things it isn't always easy to do is put yourself in someone else's shoes. A waitress in the middle of Texas who has to make a decision about she's going to quit her job to be able to get on a bus and go 250 miles. Those are the kinds of things that are going to be happening. It's especially going to fall on the backs of poor women, women of color. Um, this is just wrong, and that is part of why Justice Blackman, who is a Republican-appointed justice, no less, made that thoughtful decision, looked at the Constitution and said the right to privacy uh, includes the right for women to make a choice like this. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there, but we thank you for your time this morning. Thank you so much, Senator. It was great to be on, Martha. Thank you.